It's one of the most confusing things when you first start in Ableton. There's two records. You have this record and also you have this record. Essentially, they deal with recording into the different views in Ableton Live. So in Ableton Live, up here, you have a logo and you have something called arrangement view and session view. Now, if I wanted to record a clip in session view, I would have to arm the track first. Now I can press record here to record directly into the clip or record up here. Now what I see students doing is pressing this record, especially if you're coming from Logic or another DAW, that's the most logical thing. So I'd press record here, start jamming away on my MIDI instrument, and then look, it's recorded into this view here, but it's not here. <laughs> so what you would need to do if you want to record MIDI information in, you would either have to press record here, which then would record into the clip. I just play some MIDI notes. See, that's now recorded into the clip and then I can loop them back. Now, if I wanted to overdub or add something into that, that's where I could use this session record. Now, if I press this, it goes red and I can add on top. You see, I'm adding some MIDI notes on top there.